one thing that I've noticed that a lot of people like to say about Xenoboy is X character does not have drip. Keep in mind you that these people have not played Xenoblade, so their opinion is, you know, not valid. But I'm here to prove that these characters actually do have drip, and if you disagree, you're wrong. So let's get started with that, shall we? Starting it off, you know, with the Xenoblade 1 characters, we have Shulk. Now, I feel like Shulk is the one of the only characters that this is not applied to, the statement that I said earlier. I just said that because, you know, start the video off, why not? Because, I mean, he's in Mash Brothers, but that's not really a good reason. But he was at the time before there was a lot of Fire Emblem hate, before there was all the Xenoblade hate because of Smash Bros. So I feel like he's the only one that gets a pass. And, I mean, even if it wasn't, Shulk does have a good design. Like, I like his outfit. The Monado, you know, the colors, you know, suit him. Even though, you know, I'm colorblind, but that's not important. I will give credit though, I mean I'm not going to go through every single outfit because that would take a long time, especially for the Xenoblade 1 characters, but Shulk's future connected outfit is really good as well. It's basically just an evolution of his design and I feel like on some days I prefer that more and with Xenoblade 3 coming out it could tie into, you know, that so maybe after that game happens I'll prefer that one more. Now on to the level meathead Rain as a certain company likes to call him. Now, I feel like a lot of people think, oh yeah, Ryan has drip. That's the meme character, so I gotta say he has the most drip. But, I mean, I like his outfit, but it's not really doing anything for me. I feel like Shulk's, I like Shulk's a lot more, maybe because of just the hoodies, and I, that's more my style, I guess. You know, his, really, Shulk's uh, base outfit is more not hoodie. His future connector one, I would say, is more hoodie-like. Hoodie like, isn't that? Yeah, that's a comparison I've never said before. But his outfit does, Ryan's outfit does suit him. I feel like that it really fits him, and I don't know, I can't really picture him anything else. Some of his other outfits, there's like one where he's like in something I could see that's literally ripped straight from Monster Hunter, which is really funny. Which I guess can kind of suit him, because Ryan's, you know, the tank of the group. But besides that, there's no, nothing else really to say, right? You know, it's Ryan. Now with Fiora, uh, I really like, good outfit as well, like nothing, I don't know where I was going for that. And also kind of fun fact, uh, her Machna, uh, the theme going outfit, it was technically her base outfit in like the beta of this, when this game was being made. So that's just a fun trivia and I love when, you know, games have stuff like that, like beta outfits or designs that are, you know, certain costumes you can wear. And I think it's just, you know, really cool that they had that in there. Fiora. Now, if you didn't know, I feel like everyone knows this at this point, but her uh, Machna themed outfit that she has, not this one, because this is her, you know, her base outfit, but that actually is her, was her beta outfit when, like, the first trailer of Xenoblade was first revealed and, like, the game was called, like, Monado, Beginning of the World, which I find that really cool that they have, like, beta outfits like that in the game that, like, you, the characters can still use. I just, that's just a cool thing. But on to, you know, her canon outfit. Uh, I feel like I prefer it more than the Macna one. I think it was a good choice. The Macna one's still good, but I feel like I just prefer this one. But that may be because I've seen this outfit more on her, even though she, <laughs> you only see it for a short period of time. If you know, you know. I like the top part of the outfit. I don't care for, like, uh, the leggings. I'm not, actually, those aren't really leggings. Or just like long socks. I, I don't know clothing terms. Whatever. I'm blind. I can't see. <laughs> but I like the top. Like the design on it as well. Hero of the Homs. Hero of the Drip. <laughs> good. It's just... It's good. I feel like this is just a good... It fits Dumban really well. Like, his outfit just looks like he's in a important like leader position. Or like, you know, just a hero. I mean, you know, his title is Hero of the Hom, so it makes sense. I really like, uh, it's not, I'm not a cape, per se. I always thought it, I thought it was a cape at first. I mean, it kind of is. But it's, like, wrapped around his, like, uh, his arm, because, you know, the Monado kind of screwed that up for him. Also, just Dumbed just so cool. Dumbed just, he's just a cool guy. 
he's the hero of the hunt, so he's gotta be hero of the drip. Good outfit, I just, it's good. Uh, if I can say another outfit that's really good, his Aerith, uh, outfit, like, yeah, just Aerith, oh, that's the name. Has, like, a wing on his shoulder, which is insanely cool, I really like that, that is by far my favorite dumb outfit, besides the base one. Because just the singular wing is so cool. It's knockoff Sephiroth. Oh boy, we're on the Sharla. Uh, her drip is on par with her talent art. And if you play this game, you know what I mean by that. Okay, jokes aside, uh, I don't really, I don't hate this outfit as much as people, everyone likes to say, Sharla outfits are bad. I just did that because, haha, funny. And I mean, I don't care for it really either. I do like her Colony 6 outfit, like before, like the flashbacks that she has. That outfit, I like that outfit more. Which I'm glad that uh, you can have that as an outfit. That's a good one. I prefer that one more. But her base one's, uh, it's whatever. It's fine. I don't care for it. It's whatever. Oh boy, here we go. Now here, if you, oh. Just, I don't need to say anything. This is peak. This is amazing. I love Melia's outfit. It is so, it is so good. There's literally nothing wrong with it. And then with Definitive Edition, they're like, you know, Melia's outfit's great. We need to give her an even better one as well. So they give Future Connected, and that outfit is also so good. And they didn't even need to do that because all of her other outfits are insanely good as well. Uh, her Aerith outfit's good. Uh, like Titan Legacy, I think that's the name. Uh, like the Mechon themed one. Uh, just all of them are so good. The Machna themed one. Uh, like the middle theme. Uh, if we want to get into swimsuit alts, Melia has two uh, really good swimsuit alts. Like just the beach type and then the resort type that they added for this game. And I love the resort type. The skirt on it is just, I love that skirt. It's so good. Even, even if Melia didn't have all those outfits, if Melia was like the only character that has one outfit and it was just her base, she would still be one of my favorites because just her base outfit is so good. I absolutely love this one. Now, is it really fair to include Ricky in this? Because I mean, I feel like if you look at it at a glance, you could think, oh, he's not wearing anything. But no, no, he is. He has his little his little jacket, his little shirt. Uh, but I mean, yeah, it looks, I mean, to me, it looks like it's been kind of uh, camouflaged in. But, I mean, besides that, it's fine. It's fine. Ricky's fine. He's a not one. His kids definitely uh, outdrip him. I'm going to say that now. Uh, Kino and Nene, they do a better job. Plus, I mean, they have a more, I feel like, interesting design with Nene having no flowers. I think, yeah, the uh, things in her, whatever, not funny hair. It's even though it's, like, fuzzy. I mean, maybe it's weird to call it hair because they're just, you know, fuzzy all over, but whatever. Now, I'm probably, uh, put a, we're obviously gonna put a big, big spoiler warning here, but, uh, Fiora again? Mechon themed outfit. Uh, her base one, it's good. I like it. It, you know, I like, it just, it's cool. I like her shorter hair, even though, I mean, would you call it hair, would you count hair as part of drip? Like, how you have your hair in a certain hairstyle? I mean, sure, we'll count it. I like the short hair Fiora. Uh, I'm glad this is her base outfit because a lot of her other outfits aren't good really. The only one I would say that's uh, really good or on par at least or, or probably a little worse is like the speed frame. Uh, I think that's just the speed outfit. I don't remember the exact one. That one's good. Uh, yeah, I think that's just the only one I really care for to be the speed one. Maybe there's another one I can't think of right now. I think there's like a red, a really red one. I'm not sure about that, but I, I like that one. I picture it in my head and I like it, even though I don't know, even know if it's real. This video one I know is real and that one's good, but I think there's a red one and I could just be misremembering, but I'm, I like the red one that's picturing in my head. The non-existent red one I like. All right. Since we've gone through all, you know, the main stays of the Xenoblade 1 party, we'll, you know, finally move on to 2, and what better way to start off with my boy Rex. This is the reason, basically, why I thought this was this idea. Because Rex is always at the lead of, eh, this character has no drip. 
which is insanely stupid. Like, his outfit is so cool. This, it's an insanely cool outfit, and right now, uh, this isn't his technically canon outfit, it's just a different color, which I'll explain why in a second, uh, why I have it like this, just for the time being. But it's just a cool outfit, and it makes sense why he wears this, because, you know, he's a salvager. If you paid literally any attention for, like, three minutes when you turn on the game, you'll know that, oh, he's a salvager, that's why he's dressed like this. And he, it just, it's a cool outfit. I like it. It's cool. It's, I, that's all I need to say. It's just, it's cool. I like the outfit. Now it's time for, you know, the second person that gets all the hate about character not having drip. Which, yeah, Pyra. Of course. The two leading people, or should I say two-thirds of the leading people. We're still, there's one more person that we're missing. And that we'll, we're gonna get to next, but, you know, getting ahead of myself. All you need to know is... Pyra has a good outfit. It's so good. I love it. I love, you know, red's, uh, one of, or not one of, is my favorite color. So she gets points on that. And plus, you know, it's the only color I can really see because of due to being colorblind. So you get points there. And, uh, I mean, I am colorblind and I sometimes I screw up red, but I really like the shade of red that she uses on her outfit. It's good. I like it. Now, just saying that alone, like, oh, they have a good outfit. But yeah, they do. But there's a second re uh, a reason, I'll get into a second after we, you know, talk about Mithra, that it elevates their the drip scale and they just skyrocket. And I love that reasoning. It's just, it's insanely good. And yeah. Well, you know what? Let's just, let's just start there. Let's just go there now. Let's just do that now. With the power of the Y press of the menu. Now, big shocker, I just praised Rex's outfit for being insanely good. And I just praised Pyro's outfit for being insanely good. Big shocker, I'm about to praise Mithra's outfit for being insanely good as well. And since I did talk about that reasoning, uh, big, big spoiler warning here. I'll put one at the start of, you know, the whole video. The power of post-production, it's so funny how that works. But, the main reason why that I, Pyro and Mithra's outfit just gets insane bonus points for me is the fact that it's supposed to represent how incomplete they are. Which, even just comparing, like, Pyra and Mithra's design to each other, how Pyra's legs are covered, Mithra's aren't. Pyra's chest is covered, Mithra's is not. And even with that context, like, oh, they're supposed to represent the opposites of each other, okay, that's cool. But then if you put their outfits together, it represents they're completely covered, and that's what Numa is. Completely covered represents their complete self. Really kind of shoddy explanation explanation of that, but like, yeah, I hope you know what I'm trying to say. And, you know, Central on Mithra's, uh, if I prefer her Smash Brothers design, or this design, uh, this Xenoblade 2 design just gets the bonus points, like I said, the lore-wise. Her Smash design is good, it's, you know, a good design. Like, if that wasn't a thing, I feel like I'd prefer that more, because, you know, colors and just compliments her more, I feel. I mean, everyone feels, I mean, I'm colorblind. I don't think I have a right to say uh, colors and compliment good because, you know, colorblind. But I feel like it's just, you know, it's good. And I, you know, like the leggings, even though I still prefer base Mistwa's design. Plus, you know, that's associated with Smash Bros. And Smash Bros. bad. Because they, yeah, they're mean to us. They're not, they don't like us, our kind. It's also really funny to me that people shit on Rex's the uh, salvage outfit even though it makes sense for him and it's still a really good design and say so he has no drip he should get drip when he does get drip in the story and like this outfit is also insanely good it you know matches with Numa which gets it bonus points because even they even actually have a post battle quote where they talk about that they're matching which is just oh, I love that one it's so good so all you need to know so far Rex Rex Pyramithra drip it's good, and I'm tired of uh, Smash fans and people who just haven't played the game saying they don't, when in reality, they do. Alright, moving on, moving on from, you know, Peak. We're actually, no, that's not fair. Moving on to Peak, that implies that Nia doesn't have a good outfit, which, you know, she does. It is, I feel like, her driver outfit is foreshad- uh, no, foreshadowed, overshadowed by her Blade outfit, which we all count, we'll count that. But, 
driver in the outfit. I like her in the little jumpsuit. I it's just it's good. It's just I like it. She kind of has like the same like uh, I'm not sure what I call those like streamers. <laughs> I guess they're streamers as a. Uh... Oh, actually, a lot of characters in this game have like those. And by a lot, I mean only uh, I can think of yeah, Pyramithra. So she you know in line with them. It's a good. I like it. Driver in the outfit's good. It's just. It's good, but when you have something better, it's not fair. Which, speaking of... Yeah. Look, just look at that. It, it's just such a good outfit. I mean, I mean, this is technically, you know, true Nia. So, I mean, I like I'm only counting their canon outfits, so... I guess Nia is uh, privileged enough that she gets two. Because she has two cannon outfits. Or, you know, I'm just giving the Xenoblade 2 slide uh, more uh, chances to show off the drip. Because, I mean, no one really complains about the drip from the Xenoblade 1 side. The only one I would say is Sharla, but it's very, just very small. And I rarely see it. It's just mainly Xenoblade 2. So that's why I'm giving them more, a tans, a more of a chance to shine. Sorry, I can't speak. Speaking is too hard. This is all basically done in one take if you can't tell. But as, you know, saying... Nia's outfit, it's good. There's the, uh, I guess her, you know, her ears, her gourmet ears, even though they're not, like, they're bigger than that. I like those. It just, it's just good. I don't, I feel like this entire video is just me saying, oh, this is so good, which the art. I'm not really a character designer. I don't do art. Uh, I mean, I'm colorblind, so I can't really tell you what colors complement each other well. Only to me, I can, but for like, the average person, it looks bad, but I'm sorry. I'm just gushing about everyone's outfits. They're so good. Now, kind of uh, the same vein as uh, I was about to say Tora. That's the that's the wrong knock on. We'll get to him in a second. But uh, as Ricky, actually, no, not really, because Drumwork's not really wearing anything. So, is it really fair to count him in this? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, he does have alts in this game, but it just changed his, you know, fur coat. Uh, side note, I really wish we had the hat that he has in the the wrong uh, Beth Mithra bed scene. I, I that'd be such a fun costume, just the little hat. So just with the Dromark hat alone, he he gets a pass. He does Dromark does have drip. He's good. Now it's time for the character that uh, got a whole twit longer about how they make people uncomfortable. If you do not know about that, I... Oh, I envy you. And if you want to know about that, no, no you don't. No, you really don't. You really don't. Anyway, a Tora... Kind of, you know, same ballpark as Rex. He makes sense why he looks like that. I mean, you know, was making Poppy, you know, his artificial blade. And it makes sense he looks like, you know, an engineer. It makes sense. It, it's good. Also, gotta give credit to his swimsuit ult, because his swimsuit ult was just hilarious. So, I mean, yeah, it's funny. Now, I'm kind of not sure which Poppy I should include in this, because I was only counting the main stay parties. So, I mean, I guess we can count all of them. Rapid Fire, uh, Poppy Alpha is just adorable. I mean, look at her right now. She, she's just adorable. Uh, Poppy Cutie Pie is uh, definitely deserves points for being insanely broken. She has like the little streamer things. I'm not sure what I exactly call those. That, you know, Pyramithra and uh, Nia have in her jumper, which I mean makes sense that Poppy's supposed to be based off of Pyra and Mithra, because, you know, Tora looks up to Rex, makes sense. It's a good outfit, I like it, I like the colors. Poppy Cutie Pie's great. Now, uh, this is not, <laughs> this is not Poppy Cutie Pie's base outfit. This is the Melia themed outfit, but I mean, sure, why not? I'll count it. It's Melia. Melia needs gets more love. And uh, QT, QT agrees. Now, I feel like we're kind of out of, like, the characters that get criticized for, oh, they don't have drip. Because, you know, most people that say that haven't played the game, so they only see, like, the main characters. Like, those main three. Actually, no, that's not technically three. I can't map, clearly. But, like, you know outside of the first, like, two chapters. So, we're kind of in the ballpark of they don't really get the drama about them, which, I mean, 
it'd be insane if they did, because look at Morai, she has a good outfit. She's like, you know, the jewel of the Empire. The jewel of the, the drip pyre. It's good. It's... Ugh. I'm sorry that this entire video is just me just saying the outfits are good. There's really is no bad outfit in these games. They're all good, so I don't understand why people don't like them. There's, they have no reasoning. They're dumb. <laughs> they could have easily with Bridget. Oh, she's a Fireblade. Just make it red, which she does have a red alt, which is good. But man, the blue fire just looks so much better. I'm glad that this is the canon design for Bridget. I love like the blue fire. It looks so cool. Or it could be green. I don't know colors. You never know. It could be everyone secretly lying to you. When they actually know the game says blue flames, they could be lying. They could the entire everyone in this game could be like Podrag who's colorblind. You never know. Anyway, she's good. I like the the blue flames. I like the blue it suits her. Which a uh, fun fact in a Pirate Mythers Smash trailer, Bridget has a slight redesign where like the middle part is more covered up. I'm guessing because uh, age restrictions. They want to keep the game uh, E10 or whatever. Which okay, whatever. It's not like you have Shulk running around in his underwear and Sephiroth who just came out prior for that trailer with no shirt on and then Kazuya comes out right afterward. And then Zero Suit Samus has, you know, those two alts and Bayonetta exists, but you know, it's fine. I'm not salty. We could have had a Pyramid with their swimsuit alts. You know, there's whatever, it's fine. Now it's time for the bringer of chaos himself, or the bringer of the drip, as we can call everyone, just take everyone's title and just like replace one word drip. That's, you know, that's the content that is now. Uh, it's good, I like the eye patch. you know, brings, you know, the dumb band eye patch vibes, but, you know, I would put Zeke above Dumban. Not in Drip, but no, as character. I'm sorry. So all those Dumban fans out there, you know, Zeke, he's, he's bringer of chaos. I know he's technically his outfit. I'm not sure, maybe the outfit. He does have an alt, I know for sure. That's supposed to be based on a character from Xenogears. And that's all I know. I know very little about Xenogears. I know if there's like a character, uh, Faye, uh, Ellie, and then, oh, it's Bart. That's what uh, Zeke's like, uh, costume is based off and his like, design is Bart. Those are the three characters. And that's about it. I've seen like uh, bits and pieces of gameplay, but it's like extreme, no context. And that's it. So I can't wait to eventually play those games. You know, Square, that would be cool if you could do that, but most likely not. So, you know, hopefully I'll get to play those games as well as Saga. Now, Pandora is kind of in a weird space, because this is, I mean... She doesn't have the, like, fog covering up her glasses, which, I mean... That's not really gonna give her drip points. I feel like that would give her, like, minus one in this scale, but... Uh, it looks better without it anyway. Like, the fog, or the swirlies, or whatever it is. If I, like, you can see her eyes, she can, you know, see... You know, emotions, or whatever. With the eyes... I don't know. I don't want to talk about eyes. I'm maybe just jealous because they have eyes. I just, I love just like the, I'm not sure, I want to say bulbs, yeah, light bulbs that are just a part of her design. I'm sorry, they're probably not even light bulbs. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> but you know, she's a electric blade, that's cool. It's just, it makes sense. Just a lot of the blade designs are just so good in this game. Not like the main party ones, just go hard. They're amazing. But then, like, some of the rare blades. I'm not going to go in-depth because that would be so far down. There's there's so many. Just all the rare blade designs are great. There's not one that I don't like. They're all just good. So it's finally time to answer who has the most drip in Xenoblade. If you know anything about me, you already know which one it is. And I don't think I need to beat around the bush because the, if I do, then that's going to kind of instantly give it away. So the character that has the most drip in Xenoblade is Rex, Pyra, and Mithra. And you might be asking, that's not fair. You chose three characters to have the most drip. Only one could have the most drip. And I say to you that uh, this actually secretly was who's my favorite character in Xenoblade. So you just got played. You just got outplayed and your L, take this L plus uh, your cringe plus uh, ratio, plus uh, they have more drip than you ever could imagine, plus uh, you're blind. Boom, got him.
Oh, and yeah, uh, Melia has the most drift from the Xenoblade 1 side, so if that means anything, uh, that one charged true. 